What role do negotiation skills play in your work? <laughs> you know, uh, I have to negotiate a fair amount, and I think we all have to find ways to diffuse situations, calm stuff down. Not long ago, I, 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 I was in a situation where two people were going back and forth a little bit too quickly, and they were stepping all over each other's messages, their thoughts, and where were they coming from. And so uh, as I was sort of negotiating this situation, I realized that at one point, I heard guy A uh, say something that guy B wanted to hear, but guy A was talking quickly and guy B wasn't hearing anything quickly enough. So uh, I actually, you know, by listening and, and listening actively, I helped remind guy A of what he had said and, made guy, and asked guy B, you know, did that feel good to hear that? Is that something you were looking for? And what do you know, we got at least on a step to some resolution. <laughs> you know, conflict resolution, negotiating skills, those are tough. And I've taken a few classes over time on those sorts of things. But really what I found is it just comes down to listening actively and being patient and being able to actually step away. Being able to say, hey, you know what, I don't know that we're being productive here today, but I feel like we will be productive. So why don't we take a step back, come back tomorrow, or, or, or take a five-minute break, whatever it might be. I do have to negotiate. Um, I don't know that I do it terribly well, uh, but I feel like I've had successes with it. I think being friendly, listening actively, and going back to being positive but firm at times when that is needed, you know, telling somebody, hey, you know, let's, let's take this back a second and, and being firm about certain issues. We can all find a common middle ground. We can all find a common middle space. I think of it like a thermometer. Um, there's always somebody who wants 100% you know, at the very top of the thermometer, and there's somebody on the other end who wants 0% of whatever this issue is. Where we usually wind up with these people is somewhere in between 20 and 80. Mm -hmm. And it's usually a whole long uh, length along that, that thermometer between 20 and 80. It's not right at 78.8, and it's not right at 22. It's, it's this whole long solution that we wind up with. Mm -hmm. And then the people who are at zero, oh, you know, they don't hate it as much as they thought they would, and you know, they, they'll be all right, I guess. There are parts of it that we like, okay. And the people that were 100, you know, hey, we understand what the views were from the people who are down at zero. We can all come to the solution and kind of find that, okay, most of this works all right, so I guess we can all be happy. That's where I find myself getting resolutions, especially at the government level, mm. most of the time. It seems like in this weird, long space. Mm. It's not a certain point, it's a space. Why is that? I think that negotiating and, and finding, finding common ground at the government level usually doesn't mean that Anybody gets any aspect of everything they want all the time. They usually just get a little something, something that looks sort of like what they wanted. And it can make everybody fairly happy. I think there's some good examples when you look at, especially at, at film and, uh, oh, some books that have been very famous where uh, you have a politician who's got a, got a conflict and he's got two sides that are arguing about something, and he comes up with a third way. You know, he comes up with some third solution that nobody had thought of, but they're all kind of okay with it. That seems like government solution for the most part, and that's how we get things done. You know, folks who, who want to not like government, government's been great at getting a lot of great things done for a long time. And I challenge those folks to think, how are we going to wind up, you know, otherwise with all the roads and sewers and water uh, systems and everything else that we have? And oftentimes, with all those different infrastructure projects or social projects or uh, environmental projects, whatever they were, there were two fi sides fighting. And there often is that third way that tends to be the solution the government comes up with.